Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Normally I don't cover mods like this, but today I thought I'd take a look at version 2.4 of the Super Hornet mod that just recently came out. And the reason for this is because it's now actually a saved games installation, which means it doesn't affect any of your core files in DCS, and therefore it's more integrity check compliant, at least in theory, than it would otherwise be. So essentially, now you've only got a texture problem, is my understanding of it, as opposed to having an out and out, you've modified core um, Lua code files and things like that, so you're, you've got pure client issues or impure client issues and texture issues as well. So for servers that don't require pure textures, then apparently this should be okay. Um, as long as they, well, if they don't have the mod, obviously you can't use it, but at least you don't have to worry about that sort of thing coming up there. Um, so you can have this mod installed, at least in theory, and have it uh, still play on servers that may require pure client, but not pure textures. So, for whatever that's worth. But the big thing is, this makes it a lot easier to install and uninstall. I've got it downloaded right here, and uh, we're going to take a look at it here. So, I've got the... Uh, I've got the zip file downloaded, and I'll put a link to that in the video description, by the way. Um, but in here, we find CJS Super Hornet Mod version 2.4, and if I open that up, you can see that it has cockpit data links and a bunch of other folders in here. So if I jump out of that, this folder right here is the one we need to copy, and that, again, open the zip folder and click on this. This is what we want to copy, and then we'll just paste it into our save games DCS open beta mods aircraft folder just like we would for any other um, save games installation mod I've got a bunch of them here this one I've already installed so we don't have to worry about that so with that out of the way let's jump into DCS and have a quick look at this thing now really quick if I take a look at multiplayer Unfortunately, we don't seem to be um, integrity check compatible, so that's rather unfortunate, but at least it's a save games installation, so it's not actually modifying any of your core files. I'm not sure why it would be, wouldn't pass integrity check. It, I guess it's got something to do with these AIM-120 textures and some other things that are here. It's all, it's all a texture problem that it's showing. Anyway, so that's that. Alright, so we've had some changes here with the external model that I'll, uh, I'll take a quick look at here. Apparently we've got redone canopy and some other things like that. But look at this ridiculous Sidewinder loadout. This is 10 Sidewinders. This is insane. Now, of course, they've got pylon limitations to deal with, so you have to give up something to get something, which is why we can't have 12 Sidewinders. We're missing one here and missing one here, and that's this is as full as you can get the Superbugs pylons right now in DCS. Then we also have, under aircraft additional stuff, um, we can add Block 3 antennas. This guy right here, this little guy, back here on the spine right behind the canopy and then a small bulge right here if I check that box if I uncheck it they all go away so this is just a cosmetic feature that makes the outside of the aircraft look like a block 3 super hornet it does not affect the cockpit unfortunately you're still stuck with a block 2 cockpit even if you check this box but that's kind of nice um, we have demonstration team equipment that changes the helmet right here to Blue Angel style helmet, um, which is an older style helmet, I believe. Um, we'll uncheck that for the time being. We can dismount stations four and eight, so this right here and this right here if we're carrying nothing on them. Of course, if I do that, then with something on it, then it doesn't clear it out, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Just know that it's there. We can change our helmet mounted device, of course. I believe the Super Hornet works this, or Super Hornet, the Legacy Hornet in DCS's ED have modeled it, works this way too. So watch the pilot's head. 
I can go with not installed and he's got no helmet device, or I can add NVG or go back to Jehemix, which is what I like to stick with. Outerboard and innerboard rockets mode, apparently this is like, do you want your rockets, if you're carrying rocket pods, to fire in singles, or do you want them to ripple? Um, we've got a little weapons filtering thing here that apparently is work in progress, and then some data link stuff. Um, and I believe this right here, all this data link stuff, I believe, is just carried over from the Legacy Hornet, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the Foxtrot, because we've got a couple of other things going on here that you need to be aware of. One of them, I am really not sure what's going on with this canopy. It looks like it's got a dip in it. This is, this is weird to me. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or what's going on, but, um, that is what it is. And we also get over here in the special options. We can do solo flight right up here along with all this other stuff that I mentioned here. And I completely forgot about the USA flag here that we can add. This is on the Echo as well. Um, but solo flight removes your back seater, and that shows up both in the external model and also in the cockpit. So if you're flying the Foxtrot model Super Hornet here and you look behind you and you've got this checkbox enabled, then your back seater will not be there. It'll just be an empty seat that you see. And so that's pretty cool. Anyway, so otherwise everything is literally the same at least as far as I'm aware. Now let's take a look at the Golf. And the Golf is where things get a little more interesting because you naturally use all the pylons that the Golf has. And that is because the Golf has the same number of pylons as the Legacy Hornet. Its wingtips are taken up by the uh, EW pod equipment here that is hard mounted to it. That would be a typical loadout for a Growler. Anyway, so with that out of the way, let's jump into the cockpit here and do a little bit of flying around and then I'll wrap this video up. Alright guys, we're in the Super Hornet Foxtrot here and I am flying without the Wizzo as you can see there, flying solo today. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to air-to-air -air mode and set up our... Uh, set up our weapons here. I've got a bunch of Sidewinders and Amrams and we're hopefully going to get some Helmet acquisition mode. Actually, we'll do long range helmet acquisition mode. See if I can find some of these guys to shoot at. Oh, never mind. They went right up over me. So, back to regular helmet ma acquisition mode it is. Sidewinders. Oh, there's a. Yeah, there's like three or four guys. Come on. Okay, Fox 2 on that guy. But I gotta move because... Okay, we got two in front of us. No, they're not in front of us. They're over here. Gonna need some maneuvering energy. Alright, up and over. See if I can lose this guy. Come on, come on. Lock him up, lock him up. Fox 2 on that guy. Okay. Got a hit on him. Whoa. Okay, there's the other two guys. This is honestly kind of scary because I am not... I'm heavier than a regular Super Hornet, and I'm not as maneuverable. Oh, got a customer down here. 
Oh, there he goes. All right, Fox th two on that guy. Let's go find the other MiG, who is apparently behind us somewhere. I think he might have just launched a missile or something at us. Nope, I don't see any more of them. We got that one guy. <laughs> I guess, is there even, oh, there's a, there's a guy behind us. Got plenty of maneuvering speed, though, so we should be able to... Oh, hang on. Oh, there he is. Whoa! Last guy. Whew! That guy was hauling, too. Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, hang on. Did Sidewinder find him? Nope, it didn't. Helmet acquisition mode, maybe? Oh, nope. He's behind us. Gotta keep turning so that he doesn't get a good... Yep, so that that doesn't happen. There he is. Yeah, I see him right there. Alright, Fox 2 on him. Is it gonna track? That would be yes. Yes. Got them all, all four of them. Phew! All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.